Back in 1973, I started my sales career. I took a job selling dresses for a dress manufacturer in New York City's famous garment center. I spent 10 years as a salesman and a sales manager in New York City's garment center. Now, I don't know if anybody here knows anything about the dress manufacturing business, but in the dress manufacturing business, there is a saying. The saying is this. They say you can't do business in December. You know those sayings, right? Every industry has a saying like that. Every company has a saying like that. They say, they call, I call it the you can't do business in sayings. Some people say, oh, you can't do business in December. See, nobody wants to talk to you because they're getting ready for the holidays. And you know you can't do business in January. Nobody's going to buy anything in January because they've got no money left over from the holidays. And you know you can't do business in the summertime. Come on, who's going to do anything in the summertime? Everybody's getting ready to go on vacation. And you know you can't do business on a Friday. Nobody's going to talk to you on a Friday. They're all getting ready to go in for the weekend. And you certainly can't do business on Monday. Nobody's going to talk to you on a Monday. They just got back from the weekend. They don't want to pick up the phone. In fact, I'm convinced there's this one Wednesday in May. <laughs> That's the only good time of the year to do business. Well, here I was. My first December ever as a salesman in the garment center. I had just turned 22 years old. My first December ever. And guess what? No one ever told me. No one had ever bothered to tell me. I had just started in July. I had only been there for about five, six months. No one bothered to tell me that you can't do business in December. I didn't know. So me, like a dope, I'd get in early every morning. And I'd pack up a bag with samples. And I'd run out into the streets of Manhattan. And I'd go all around Manhattan visiting buyers. Visiting buying offices. Selling dresses all morning, all morning. I'd go around visiting buyers. I'd come back, I'd have a quick lunch, and I'd, on the, in the afternoon I'd get on the phones and I'd call all over the United States, the big department stores all over the United States, trying to sell dresses. And guess what? I was so young, so dumb, so stupid, so naive. You know what happened? I did business. But then don't worry, don't worry, because you know what happened next. I heard the voices. I heard the voices. You know the voices. I'm sure you've all heard the voices. The voices of all the people who are so ready, willing, and able to tell us it can't be done. You know the voices of the people with experience. You know those people who have been around for 10 years? They don't really have 10 years of experience. They just have one year of experience multiplied by 10. <laughs> but I heard the voices. I heard them saying, hey kid, hey kid, come here. Hey kid, come here. Where? And I looked, and there they were. They're so afraid to do business in December, they're hiding under the desks. <laughs> see, because the saying in the garment center is this. You see, it's so bad in December. They tell you, it's so bad in December, nobody's going to buy any dresses from you in December because they don't want to ship them into the stores in December because, you see, December is, not a, December is Christmas and nobody buys anybody dresses a Christmas present. Dresses are not a Christmas item, so nobody's going to buy anybody dresses in, in December. And, in fact, they don't want to bring in any dresses in January because January is markdown month. They're just going to want to return dresses. If anything's left over from December, they're going to return in January. They tell you in December, you don't even pick up the phone in December because it's only going to be a complaint. In fact, the saying goes, it's so bad in December, even the hangers don't fit. So now I'm saying, where are you? Come here, come here. I look under the desk. There they are. They're hiding under the desk with the coffee cups. You know who those guys are that always tell you it can't be done? I call them the coffee cup brigade. You know who they are, the coffee cup brigade? They're the people that can tell you, that have all the advice for you, always tell you what to do because they know everything. It's just that they never actually do anything. You ever notice those people that can tell you everything you're supposed to do and are experts on everything but never actually do anything? You see why they don't do anything? Because they're busy walking around with a coffee cup all day. They're walking like this with the coffee cup. They're the coffee cup brigade. And they can tell you everything to do. They never actually do anything because they're too busy walking around with the coffee cup. In fact, if you notice, if you ever take the coffee cup out of the hand, their arm is permanently bent in this position from walking around with the coffee cup all day. So now the coffee cup brigade is calling me and I'm going, what, what's the, what are you guys doing under there? They said, come here, come here, come here, come here. I said, what's the matter? They said, come here, kid. Why, why, what? They said, kid, are you stupid? 
I said, what do you mean? They said, you can't do business in December. I said, what? They said, you can't do business in December. I said, you can't? They said, no, nobody does business in December. I said, they don't? I said, why not? They said, don't you understand, kids? Nobody buys anybody dresses in December. Dresses are not a Christmas item. They're not going to want to bring any dresses into the stores in December because it's not a Christmas item. They're just going to return dresses. They don't want to bring any dresses in January. January's markdown month. They're just looking to ship back dresses. Don't even pick up the phone, kid. I said, why not? They said, it's only going to be a complaint. I said, oh my God. They said, you know what, kid? It's so bad in December. Even the hangers don't fit. I said, oh my God. God! But don't worry, folks. Don't worry. Because by the next December, I knew. I was now a veteran. I now knew what I wasn't supposed to know. I now knew that you couldn't do business in December. And the next December, guess what? Guess what I did? What do you think happened? No business. Because I listened to all those other people.